this is an example of some of uh, work I've been doing kind of as a hobby over the last few nights of bringing in uh, LiDAR data which has been made open source and trying to get it into Unity. So everything in here at the moment is actually applied onto a terrain. Um, it's got a resolution of every 50 centimeters. Uh, there's some data that's been taken and as it's on the terrain it's, it's literally just kind of dragged uh, all the vertices up into the air. Uh, so this is my campus. Now something which I've <laughs> literally only just realized uh, and it was kind of bugging me why I couldn't work out what was going on. Um, the way that I've read the data in it's actually created everything back to front. So uh, in the university uh, the dreadnought building uh, would actually be somewhere over here and it's a it's a flipped mirror image and I only sussed it when I brought in the data for uh, for this section which has got the, the power station uh, or the old power station which is a bit further down the river and it now kind of makes sense why some of my tiling wasn't working anyway you, you can kind of see uh, if we kind of reverse and flip this you'll be able to see it uh, we've got London. So this is a lot of South East London. It's uh, five uh, kilometres by five kilometres. Uh, we've got, so it's 25 square kilometres of London. Uh, I think over here is probably uh, some of Lewisham. And um, we can see kind of train lines and so on and so forth. And we can see where the river is. And yep. So uh, this is somewhere in the region of uh, 100, no, 100 million points of data which has been brought in. Now the script I've written at the moment uh, it takes about 2 minutes 20 seconds to iterate through 25 uh, lots of files, all of which contains 4 million points each. And as you can see it's kind of, we're getting, starting to kind of build up uh, some of Canary Wharf around here. Uh, so I'm working on this. Uh, next thing I've got to do is obviously flip the data around because, um, yeah, that just looks a bit silly now that I've seen it. Uh, but the there are some issues. So if I go over to Greenwich Park, we can and zoom in a bit. You can see some things kind of go a bit bizarre in terms of the trees. So when a lidar data hits depending on what leaf it hits, um, the oops, the information where's it gone? The information can be a little bit spiky, but if we were one were to spend time on doing this we would be able to at least recognise the right height of the buildings and maybe kind of then extrapolate some of that data into a model. Uh, flatten out these kind of spiky areas and replace them with uh, trees onto the terrain. But we do have a reasonable approximation of South East London. Um, so I'm going to be uh, working on this mainly to improve it so that uh, it, it creates an editor script because what will happen at the moment, this is actually uh, in, we're running this at the moment. So it positions everything into the right places. The problem that I've got is that uh, because it's uh, all in runtime at the moment, as I was testing it, as soon as I hit stop, every single one of these terrains will go back to a zero zero position in the world. Um, but yeah, so it's just a little work in progress of uh, 25 square kilometers.